everybody, so we should be able to start now. I'm doing good, thank you. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about the pronunciation of past tense ed. As we all know, verbs are divided into two kinds. There are regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs only use the ed suffix to denote past tense, and the pron pronunciation of the suffix changes depending on the final sound of the verb. So here we need to pay more attention on the final sound, not the final letter of the verb. And this is a change only in spoken, not written English. So we can only hear it. We wouldn't tell it from um, the writing. Here is a and you can reply your answers in the chat. The pronunciation of the suffix changes depending on what of the verb. So there are A, B, and C. This is the chart I got from the book. And I believe all of you have, have read it already. So the ending, the, the verb ending sound chart. And this chart tells us when does the ED pronounce as T and when does it pronounce it T and when does it pronounce it T. When the verb ending sound is P, K, F, S, SH, and CH. These are voiceless uh, consonants. And the verb ending sound is voiceless consonants. ED pronounces t. And these examples are here. And if the verb ending sound is the pronunciation of ED is t. There's an extra syllable added here. So examples are wanted, needed. And when the ending sound is voice consonants or vowel sound, the pronunciation of ED is D. So the examples here are 3, 2, lob, drag, shoot. Alright, when we examine the sound, we have to pay attention to the ending sound, not spelling. So it is important to emphasize with our L sound. Pronunciation depends on the ending sound, not the spelling. For example, the verb cough is not spelled with an F, but it's an F sound as a full sound. So it follows the rules for the full sound, which is ED pronounces it. It's coughed. The verb fix is written with an X, but has a final s sound. Therefore, it uses the rules. So, fix, not fix. Here is another example. Please list the words. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, there are, there are more than more than one word. So if you can write all of them, that'd be great. They have the t sound. Wish which Then each massage both ends with the sound. And for chat is Another practice. Which of the following E D has a pronunciation of D not D or can reply this. Yeah, because stuff is a uh, voiceless. So it's Next um, practice. Give me one example of a verb that ends in D and pronounces it. Also, reply this in your chat. The previous practice is, um, ends with sound and is voiceless. have difficulty memorizing, uh, remembering these rules. Since the changes in past tense pronunciation are not reflected at all in written English, L's need oral practice to master them. So we need to focus focus on oral practice, like give them something, something to say, something to read, instead of asking to write things. The common errors else make and I got these from my uh, friends and I also make these kind of um, errors when I talk. So the first one is add an extra syllable. For example, instead of saying washed, else may say washed. And the second one is overgeneralize the pronunciation of the words ending with voiceless sound. For example, instead of saying pushed, pushed, it will say pushed, helped, it will say helped. And our last practice is teachers. How can we test whether our L's master the sound of the past tense? <laughs> Try 
shoots. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> You got it right. So it's by asking them to talk about it, because we can't, if we can't hear it, we can't tell whether they、uh, master this or not.、Right. And this is the end. Thank you. Let's do. All the three、uh, questions. Excellent.
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think my first question is a little misleading. I should I should have thought about it more carefully. Thank you guys, thank you.